foreign investments pours into Reliance. Now, the US-based Intel Capital will invest Rs 1,894.5 crores in Reliance Industries' Geo platforms for a 0.39% stake, said the two companies on Friday. During the video conference with the state counterparts, Power Minister R.K. Singh said that India will not import power equipments from China. He added that India imported Rs 71,000 crore worth power equipment, including Rs 21,000 crore from China. This is something we cannot tolerate that a country will transgress into our territory. We will not take anything from China and Pakistan. The clash between India and China raised questions over the status of India's number one premium smartphone manufacturer's position. In an email interview, the company's vice president Navneet Nakra said, India continues to be a key market for OnePlus since our entry in 2014 and we are committed towards our focus in the region. Over the years, we have worked hard to strengthen our manufacturing capabilities in line with the Make in India initiative. Hyundai to introduce IMT this July 2020 in its venue model. The difference between an automatic and IMT is that the head-shaped gear shift pattern will be retained without a clutch and pedal. The drivers enjoy a clutch-free drive and also the sport of shifting gears. Similar gear pattern is likely to arrive in Kia Sonnet model also. Coronavirus pandemic has brought many changes to consumer behavior and shopping trends, the latest one being a rising interest in do-it-yourself items. Homegrown e-commerce major Snapdeal has said that the company has been receiving an increased number of orders for DIY kits such as for minor repairs, hand tool kit, drilling machines, bathroom and kitchen taps, sewing machines, among others. Atma Nirbar Bharat system executed literally. Snapdeal witnessed fast growth in the sale of DIY products and repairing tools as people continue to be wary of calling outside help during the COVID-19 pandemic, the company said, adding that when compared to pre-COVID items, sales of such products has grown 90% in May and June. The new 2020 Honda CBR400 has now been revealed officially in Japan. The bike majorly remains unchanged compared to the previous model. It has been priced at Rs 5.62 lakhs. As Honda is expected to release a range of below 500cc bikes, CBR400 is expected to make an entry into India. As an alternative to Chinese-American founded Zoom Meet app, India's Reliance has rolled out new Geo Meet app. At a time, 100 people could participate with no limits to time and with HD video quality. Rupee settles at 74 rupees 68 paise against 1 US dollar. 83 rupees 83 paise against 1 euro and 92 rupees 99 paise against 1 British pound. Petrol in Tamil Nadu is sold for 83 rupees 63 paise a litre and 1 litre of diesel is sold for 77 rupees and 72 paise. Without any change in price, a gram of 22 carat of gold is sold for 4,622 rupees and a sovereign for 36,976 rupees. With an increase of 50 paise per gram, a gram of silver is sold for 53 rupees 40 paise and a kilogram for 53,400 rupees.